A large truck or bus can weigh anywhere from 10,000 pounds to 80,000 pounds. Passenger cars typically weigh 3 or 4,000 pounds. Because of this substantial weight difference, trucks and buses can take twice as long to come to a stop as smaller passenger vehicles. For example, a passenger vehicle weighing 4,000 pounds, traveling at 65 miles per hour, would need 316 feet to come to a stop. That's more than the length of a football field. In comparison, a fully loaded tractor trailer weighing 80,000 pounds, traveling at 65 miles per hour, will take 525 feet to stop. That's almost the length of two football fields. To calculate total stopping distance for a regular car, you must add together three separate distance factors, perception, reaction, and braking. Perception distance is the distance a vehicle travels as a driver identifies, predicts, and decides to slow down for a hazard. Reaction time is the time it takes for a driver to execute a decision once the hazard is recognized. Braking distance is the distance a vehicle travels from the time the driver presses the brake until the car stops. For trucks, brake lag must also be factored into this equation. Brake lag is the time it takes for a brake signal to travel to all the wheels on the tractor trailer. This is typically around three-fourths of a second. Also, when stopping behind a truck, always leave plenty of room between your vehicle and the truck. One car length is a good rule. Stay to the left of your lane so the truck driver can see you in the side mirror.